Validation Dashboard. This video demonstrates how to create a metric suite for the Validation Dashboard and explains how to build the Validation Dashboard. If you have more than one metric table for calculating metrics using metric suites with validation-based metric definitions, you can display validation results from these tables in a validation dashboard. This dashboard allows you to track all validation results in one place. First, create a metric suite for the validation dashboard and name it. Create a metric suite using the base metric suite. Open the specification window of the newly created metric suite. Set the is abstract property to true. Create validation based metric definitions for the metric suite to define the structure of the dashboard. Each validation based metric definition represents a validation dashboard column. Finally, create a generalization relationship from each metric suite that calculates the metric you want to display in the validation dashboard to the abstract metric suite. Next, link each validation-based metric definition to the metric definition representing a specific validation dashboard column. Open the specification window of the validation-based metric definition that calculates the metric you want to display in the validation dashboard. Select the specification cell of the redefined property and click the Edit button. Finally, find the abstract metric suite and select its metric definition. Repeat these steps for each validation-based metric definition calculating the metric you want to display in the validation dashboard. When you finish defining a metric suite for the validation dashboard, you can create a metric table to track validation results. Create a metric table that will be your validation dashboard. Specify the abstract metric suite for the validation dashboard as the metric suite of the table. Open the specification window of the metric table. Select the Scope property and click the Edit button. Select the metric tables you want to track in the validation dashboard. Then select the Query property and click the Edit button. On the left side of the Query dialog, select Create Operation and click the Operation from Model Operation. In the Select Opaque Behavior dialog, select the Latest Metric Instances and click OK. In the Query dialog, select Element equals Unspecified and click the Reset button. Now, Select the contextual variable operation in the Other Operation group and click OK. Close the specification window of the metric table. The latest instances from the specified metric tables are now collected and displayed in your validation dashboard. Thank you for watching.